Okay, today we're going to test out the 4080 laptop uh, in their billions. So the settings are as follows, followed uh, faster timer optimization and everything high. So for people that don't know what this game is, it's an RTS game. And it's sitting on the highest difficulty, but on the days. So that basically means the biggest end wave that you can get. Uh, which is going to happen in two hours of this game, so pretty much now. And yeah, we're going to see uh, how the how the PC holds up. So RTS games are really brutal. Um, any PC hardware, uh, especially that has huge amounts of units on the screen, and this has huge amounts of units on the screen. Like lots of units, and yeah, the frame rate is gonna tank around the 30s on my desktop. So let's see how it holds up here. Yeah, this is all CPU and the multi threading this year in this game is not particularly good. So far so good though. The game has a system where if it gets under the 30 FPS, the game itself will slow down. Uh, instead of the frame rate. But as far as I see right now. There is a lot of, uh, it still goes pretty quick, but yeah, you saw the frames, when I press this, look at the frame rate, it goes down by a lot, but it's still really quick. Uh, the game in general from the start up, it's like, you, you start like 100 frames and go slowly down to like 60. And uh, the end wave is 30s. But it's an RTS game, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the frame rate is low. If the frame rate is low. So we're back at 60s at this point. Okay, let them clean the map out and then the map is won. Yeah, so in general, uh, didn't really slow down from what I saw. Um, was going full speed. So that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, plays really well, actually. I have a tiny base, yeah. I don't really build big bases. You don't really need them to win the match. Okay, we have a few more units here, slow walkers. Yeah, pretty impressive, uh, plays pretty darn smooth, especially with G-Sync. Which currently for me is now not working because my HDMI cable is fucked. But um, yeah, in general, pretty nice. Uh, it's really, really playable. Like, really good playable. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, the matches in this game are long. They're like two to three hours long. Yeah. This is the ending, the conclusion of it. Well, there we go. So that's what you can expect for uh, Day of Billions. Thanks for watching guys, I will uh, see you in the next video.